Google Docs is cloudware, which means there's no software to install on your computer. You can use any browser and just go to the website, google.com forward slash docs. Google Docs gives you a word processor, spreadsheet, and graphics presentation software. There's the upload button, upload files, and you get your regular open dialog box. So here I'll choose, uh, let me find a RTF, rich text format file. Uh, there we go, questions two. This was from a trivia game I was working on. So I upload questions two, which is actually a Microsoft Office Word document, but no problem for Google Docs. I can open it here, just click on it, and there it is. I'm not going to make any changes just now, but that's how you upload and open a file using Google Docs. That was just to demonstrate. I'm going to get rid of it now. So I'm going to check the box and then click Move to Trash. And just to confirm. And isn't that nice? In case I didn't mean to, oops, undo. And there it is again. Safe, safe and sound. Or another way to get it to the trash is to just drag it down to the trash. How cool is that? So there's the upload button. Now I'm going to create a word processing file. So I go create document. And this is the Google Docs word processor. Okay, pick up the size so you can see what I'm typing. And let's just type something smart. Uh, bullet head lists. Formatted text. Like so. Uh, let's make it orange. Let's make this one italics. Bold. Pick it up in the size. Make it a little nah, Make it smaller. Make it red. There we go. Enter. And let's go back to the regular black font there. Okay. Intentionally misspell spell check. And look at this. Right click and correct it, just like that. Yes, Google Docs has a good context menu or a right click menu. Auto correct. Now watch this. To correct your errors on the fly, I'll misspell your and fly and watch what happens. Pretty cool, huh? Add to dictionary is very cool for words that you know were correct, but Docs doesn't recognize. My wife's dad's name, Dombrowski. That would, spell check would catch that and say, oh, that's the wrong word. And you can say, no, 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 add to dictionary. Dombrowski is a word. Now you know. Paint format means you can copy a format from one location and apply it to other text. Here, the best way is just to show you. I'll grab this format, Format Paint, grab it, Paint Format. Now, whatever I highlight is going to take on that same format. Uh, is that cool? I'm going to do it again every so often. And again. you, you got to play with it a few times before you do it. After you get the hang of it, it works real well. Okay, so I'm going to grab some formatting from the word dictionary and I'm going to copy only the formatting and I'm going to apply it to and again. Web Clipboard is an easy way 
to copy and paste several different items at once. You copy as many words or phrases or pictures as you want, and Web Clipboard keeps a running list of everything you've copied. So, for example, I select the word spell check, and I say copy selection to Web Clipboard, and then I choose correct and copy selection to Web Clipboard, and then dictionary copy selection to web clipboard format copy selection to web clipboard so we got all these things in my web clipboard now well, do I want format? Nah. nah. dictionary? no. Nah. correct spell check? yeah I want spell check and I'll paste that as rich text which is just to say that I paste it the format is exactly the way it was formatted when I copied it and we have that familiar menu bar, File, Edit, View, Insert, yada, yada, yada. And the easy to use toolbar. File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Tools. You know, pretty standard stuff. Pretty much what you're used to seeing. Now watch, I'll grab this format, Format Paint, and apply it to this text. And of course we can indent, and there's decrease indent. Google Docs gives you one gigabyte of free storage space online for files that you created previously using Office or WordPerfect or your JPEG or MP3 files, whatever. One gigabyte of storage space. Next. Let's take this format grab it and apply it to this text now let's take this format grab it and apply it to this text You can freely share your Google Docs online. By freely share, I mean the people that you want to show it to, they don't need a Google account in order to read it. You can just give them an address, and they can paste that address into their browser and see your document. Wonderful. They don't need to log in. They don't need a special account or a user ID or a password. They can just go to it and look at it. Nice. And just to reiterate, Google Docs can actually store your old files online as easily accessible as your email inbox. And once they're in your Google Docs account, your files can be easily opened, edited, saved, or shared. All, and you can do it all from within any browser window connected to the Internet. And when I say your old files you can upload to Google Docs, that includes files in the following formats. .doc for word processing, .xls for spreadsheets, .ppt for graphic presentations, such as PowerPoint. RTF is rich text format, basically the same as .doc, and of course plain text format. And let's make this into a bullet list here. And have you seen Microsoft's new pain in the ass file format, .docx? Ah! Big pain in the butt to work with. But Google Docs can open it with no problem. All from within Google Docs. And all edited files, whether created on your hard drive using Microsoft Word or created online here using Google Docs, all files can be saved online to your Google Docs account. Or, if you want, you can download them as any number of formats. You can download it as PDF, uh, RTF, and of course plain text format, Word, HTML,
you may notice there's no save button or uh, file save. Uh, that's because Google is constantly saving your work as you go. And when you're finished with a document, even if only temporarily finished, just close the window. So as, I, as I'm finishing up here, there's nothing to save, so I just close the window. But first, let's rename this document. Right now it's called Untitled Document. If you want to rename this document, click on the name. So we go to the upper left corner and click Untitled Document. And then it's something cleverer. This is Brian's word processing document. And that blue button there, just click OK. So you can rename it by clicking on the title up top left there, or you can go File, Rename, and how about Brian's word processing, um, Brian's document, there we go, oh, Brian's document, it's easy. If I want to print, top left corner there's the button. Don't you love that screen pop-up little tooltip there? It tells you what the button does. I love that. It makes it so easy. Print. And this actually prepares for print. It makes it a PDF, uh, an Acrobat, because of the standardization. What you see is what you get. And remember, there's no special software installed on your computer. All of this is happening from within your browser window. Any browser. Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Apple Safari, Google Chrome, any browser you like. So that's cool. And if we look at the very top of the uh, browser here, we can see this print page is the third tab I've opened. If I close the print page, it takes me back to Brian's document. If I close Brian's document, where is it? In my Google Docs homepage. It's right here at the top of the list. And if I click back into it, Brian's document opens in its own separate tab. And I can insert an image by going Insert, Image. And then choose. I get the Navigate dialog box. And I go to Video, Occupy, stills and bullhorn resize okay and if I click print or file print comes out black and white let's go lower left area there to color okay so I close on so, let's, so this is the print window. Let's go to the document window. Back to the print window. This is the print tab. Let's go back to the document tab. Now the Google Docs home page tab. There's Brian's document. By default, it is automatically set to private. That's nice. But suppose I want to change it, share it, spread the word. I can click on change and see the radio buttons on the left there right now it's set to private down at the bottom but I can very easily change this to public or unlisted and I get this and look at this a publicly accessible web address it's lengthy and kind of hard to remember but I can copy and paste it to any of my friends and they do not need uh, user ID or password in order to see it. They can just click on that link and there they are. So that is my quick little introduction to Google Docs word processor. Hope you've had fun. Let's make my next modest little credit for the producer here. Yay. Now let's make that hyperlink. Uh, insert link. Oh, this.
hold down my control key and drag it down there and that copies it. Okay. There's the hyperlink. And last but not least, one more little thing. Because we can insert a drawing shapes. There it is, the happy face. Okay. Uh -huh. Save and close, and there it is. And look at this. Like there, for example. And eh, well, sort of there. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so that is my brief introduction to the wonderful world of Google Docs. If you'd like to try it yourself, go to google.com forward slash docs and jump right in. It's easy, fun, and it works. From Palm Springs, California, reporting for Newberry Media, this is Brian Newberry.